This is big. Kanye meets the Kardashians. Kanye West been photographed all around New York City and other places. I met Kanye in 2002. He would ask everyone like who I was, and they always said like, "Oh, she, you know, has a boyfriend." We just always kept on like connecting and coming into each other's lives. And then he invited me to Paris to his fashion show, and then that's when it like happened. That's when we started our relationship. And then I was like, "Why didn't this happen sooner?" It was just right. But when she started dating Kanye West, the haters came out again. I mean, everyone would tell him, you can't be with her. She's a reality star. She's going to sink your career. And he was just like, but I love her. Like, I don't care. Anytime I was around her, I saw her. I, it was a magnetic attraction to this force of energy. She was good, pure, happy, loving, brave, courageous, strong. Sharing her relationship on social media did not stop Kim from finding true love. But sharing too much can have serious consequences. I was in Paris. It was Fashion Week. I've been showing off my new diamond ring. Kanye got me this, like, 20-carat diamond ring, and I brought all of my jewels, everything I possibly had, to Paris with me. Kim and I went to the Givenchy show to watch Kendall walk, and then came back to change to go out for the night, and Kim decided to stay home. Right as I was about to fall asleep, I heard guys running up the stairs. They wanted my ring and my jewelry, so I didn't fight back. I just gave them everything, and they tied me up. They wrapped duct tape over my eyes and my mouth. It was the scariest thing I've ever been through in my entire life, just thinking that, you know, you're about to die. You're just kind of bracing yourself for the moment that they're going to shoot you and kill you. That 10 minutes really changed my whole life. The robbers escaped with a huge diamond ring worth approximately $4 million. Kim was left, still bound by duct tape and plastic restraints. Eventually, she managed to free herself and make contact with her sister, Courtney. Kim called me screaming. I'm gonna try not to cry. That, I can't even talk about it. I'm sorry. She called me and my legs like went out. I remember I, like, fell to the floor. Kim was really, really shaken up. We just did all the work that she had to do with the police and got out of there. That moment, it's truly the scariest experience. I can't even, it's like, you can't even describe how scary it is. Kim, are you, are you OK? Kim! There are a, a lot of thoughts running through my head related to that time, and I don't like to watch those movies. Memories are movies in your mind. I like to watch the happy ones. I don't search for the bad. In the aftermath of Kim's nightmare in Paris, there were skeptics who suspected the robbery was a hoax. People like Howard Stern said that I should go to jail if this is fate. Some people thought that she was flaunting it. You cannot display your wealth and then be surprised that some people want to share it with you. She was all over social media wearing millions of dollars of jewels. But this wasn't a joke. This was a terrifying, life-changing moment. Three months after the robbery, French police arrested 17 suspects believed to be connected to the crime. Ten of those suspects were later indicted. It makes me so upset to think about it, but like either they're gonna shoot me in the back or if I make it and they don't, there's no way out. There's those moments in life that really change you and like shake you to your core. And my robbery was definitely that moment for me. And as crazy as this sounds, like I wouldn't give up that experience for the lessons I learned from it. You miss me so much. Yeah. I am really well aware that it happened because they were following me on social media, but now I don't really post things in absolute real time. I'll wait 
Material things used to be so important to me. Like I measured my success by my material things. Right. But there is nothing material that is important to me. It's all replaceable, none of it matters. Just you.